Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben, got a brand new bourbon on the bar that everyone's talking about, let's get into it. Okay, on the bar tonight, we've got, bam, this is Wild Turkey, Jimmy Russell's 70th anniversary. So for those of you that are watching this episode the morning it comes out, happy Halloween. It is Halloween today, the release day of this video, which is why I have the studio lights a little different. It's supposed to be orange, but I have a feeling it's going to show up a little more red. Uh, also explains why I'm wearing this ridiculous costume. And for those of you who are watching this in the future, happy day, whatever day you've got going on. So this one is new from Wild Turkey. I think it's a limited release. Uh, anniversary release. It's to celebrate Jimmy Russell's 70 years as master distiller. So it's said to be eight, well, it's age stated eight years. And then um, Jimmy Russell selected some nine year barrels from his favorite warehouse to blend in with it. So according to Wild Turkey, this is supposed to be, uh, there's supposed to be enough of it to go around. I don't know if it's going to be a regular shelf thing, but it's supposed to not be ridiculously allocated. So hopefully people aren't going too crazy picking this one up and selling it for secondary prices. I know the liquor store that I bought this one at, I paid, I think 60 bucks. I think the, the MSRP is 50 to 60. Um, they had said they were supposed to get like six cases of it. And for some strange reason, five of those cases didn't show up. So there might be some shenanigans going on with the distribution of this one already, but hopefully you can find this for MSRP in your area. 101 proof. Let's uh, jump into the nose here. It's got a great nose. Uh, truth be told, I actually had some regular wild turkey over the weekend. And so I do kind of have the wild turkey, regular wild turkey 101 fresh in my mind. At some point I will probably do a comparison video, but it's jumping out to me is very, very similar. Obviously it's wild turkey. Uh, they have one mash bill besides their rye mash bill. So it's the same mash bill as regular 101. 101 is said to be six to eight year blends. I'm guessing probably heavier on the six. And so obviously there's gonna be some similarities here. Same mash bill, same proof. And so far, yeah, I'm really just getting the kind of, typically with wild turkey, I get like that nice kind of oak Nice cinnamon. It's got a little spice to it, which I like. Uh, but that's kind of it on the nose, to be honest. But the aromas are fairly dense, so that's good. Well, let's get into the palette, see what happens. Cheers and happy Halloween. Really nice on the palate. I definitely like this. I'm a wild turkey fan, but what I will say is it's very similar to 101. Again, obviously it's the same mash bill, same proof. It's not a ton difference in age, but going off of memory, the age is what stands out on this one, making it better than regular 101, in my opinion. But it has all the same flavor notes. It's got that nice cinnamon to it. It's got kind of the, uh, it's got a nice oak note to it, but it's got a nice kind of black pepper spice to it. A little bit of rye spice. Uh, kind of just classic wild turkey, to be honest. Caramel, brown sugar, vanilla, kind of standard bourbon notes. But for me, wild turkey, the it's really the um, this kind of darker notes. Like the, the there's a caramel there, but it's a little darker, rich caramel. But the, uh, the cinnamon really shows up on this one for me. The cinnamon and the pepper spice. So, again, I will probably do like a comparison video. Maybe do this versus regular 101. 
and then maybe throw in like a uh, Kentucky Spirit against it. Get three turkey products all at the same proof point and kind of let them battle it out. I would say going off of memory though, I'm liking this more than kind of standard Wild Turkey 101, but I don't think it's bringing much different in flavors. It just is coming across as a, maybe a little bit more better mouthfeel, little more age, maybe just a little more bold, again, from what I can remember. But this is a nice whiskey. Um, yeah, it's just very, very well balanced. Kind of just the things that it does, it's, it does them really well. Let's have another sip here. Cheers. So after that next sip, I'm kind of noticing the cinnamon note here is kind of almost leaning into almost like a Red hot candy or like a big red gum. It's that kind of artificial cinnamon, which is good. Some of the brown sugars and the uh, maybe sort of like baking spice notes that are kind of common with most bourbons are kind of coming through. But yeah, that cinnamon really, really just kind of stands out as maybe the main sort of like sweet kind of note. Cinnamon's sweet, right? I mean, I guess it's kind of hot and spicy, but I don't know. I consider it sweet, I guess. In this case, it is. But yeah, this is really nice. At the $50 to $60 price point, the only thing that I would say, well, it's not even a negative. I'm just like, if, if this was a regular shelf bottle with rare breed at like around the $50 price point, at least in Minnesota here, sometimes less, sometimes more, uh, I think I'm probably buying that, you know, versus this, but this is really, really good. It's nice and well-rounded. I think this one's almost more of like a, you know, if you're a wild turkey fan or a bourbon fan, I think you just gotta have this bottle, right? I mean, it's kind of a, from what I can tell, limited edition or at least anniversary release. So it's something a little bit different, kind of like a little different spin on a classic, because I think Wild Turkey 101 is just kind of a classic bourbon. So as far as like recommending this bottle, I mean, I feel like this is a bottle that doesn't really need a yes or no recommendation, because I feel like people are just gonna buy it anyway. You know, again, if you're a Wild Turkey fan, if you see this, you're probably gonna pick it up. Uh, definitely don't pay secondary for it, I will say that. And I don't recommend paying secondary for anything, but while this is good, it's nothing outrageous. You know, it's just kind of a, I would say this is kind of a mid-level release from Wild Turkey. You know, it's not the barrel proof like Rare Breed. It's definitely comes across as a little more well-rounded than the, the 101 uh, going from memory. Higher proof than Russell's 10. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Is it anything too crazy special? No, not really, but really good. Let's have one more sip and then get out of here. Yeah, so on that last sip, nothing, nothing else really jumped out as, you know, sometimes you, you sip on a bourbon a few times and it kind of takes you for a roller coaster of flavors and you, you know, every sip's a little bit different. This one is consistent, it's well balanced, it's really good. It's basically just like a more finely tuned Wild Turkey 101. And if you're a fan of Wild Turkey 101, you're definitely gonna like this. But I wouldn't be looking for this to, to just, you know, knock your socks off like it's some crazy, um, you know, wild roller coaster of a premium bourbon. It's good, but again, I would consider this if this was a regular shelf product to be kind of a mid-range wild turkey product. Uh, but I like all wild turkey products, so I do like this one. So let me know in the comments if you've had this one. Uh, I know there's a lot of reviews coming out about this. I haven't really watched all of them yet. I mean, I've seen some kind of rumblings about this bottle, but to be honest, I knew I was gonna be reviewing it, so I didn't wanna kind of poison the well here and, and um, you know, maybe have any notes suggested to me that would then show up, you know, power of suggestion. So I'm interested now in catching up on some reviews of this and finding out what people think of it. I think it's good, but nothing super spectacular or great. Uh, I did see on Instagram that Wild Turkey is now gonna be releasing uh, eight year age stated, just regular Wild Turkey. I'm assuming it was 101, I think. They release eight year age stated 101 in like Japan and stuff. So maybe they're just bringing that release to the United States. I'll be interested in seeing what they charge for that. Cause this one being age stated eight years at 50 to 60, if they just come out with a regular eight year age stated wild turkey 101, 
I don't know if they can get away with 50 to 60 bucks on it, but I think they can get away with it on this one. So again, let me know if you've had this one, what you think. And while you're at it, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very, very much for watching. This has been Wild Turkey, Jimmy Russell's 70th anniversary. On the Bourbon Note, I'm Ben. We'll see you in the next one.